This is my epic adventure in Sheffield and let's start off with the tallest tower of Sheffield which is 101 metres high. This tower's got a set of two cone MX20 eco discs. One of the two lifts is glass and one of them isn't. Sadly the glass lift has been slowed down so let's start off with the non-glass lift. This lift goes 2.5 metres a second and it's got very fast acceleration and pre doors. Let's ride it. And let's take a look on top. This lift is very well built and the acceleration of this lift is fast. Let's surf it. And now let's take a look at the glass lift and despite this lift being the exact same model this one has been slowed down, acceleration has been toned right down, the speed has been reduced to 1.5 meters a second and pre-doors have been disabled. I don't know why, maybe there's something wrong with it. Let's do a leg dangle. And now let's surf the lift. So then, that's the tallest tower in Sheffield complete. Let's now go to the second tallest tower, which is 78 metres high. Oh, look, a university. Why are we here, I wonder? What could we possibly be at this university for? This tower has the world's tallest paternoster. This paternoster is epic. And while sadly paternosters are in decline, far as I know, this one is going to be kept simply because of a large number of people trying to get up and down this tower and there's not enough shafts. And a paternoster is a very efficient way of getting a very large number of people simultaneously up and down the tower. So the people flow in this tower simply wouldn't work without it. Let's ride it. That's me. So weird. It's like surfing a lift, but we're not. There's not a lot of wind. No, it's not a lot of wind. So weird. Yeah. 
the ultimate race would be Paternoster versus inspection on the lifts because I think inspection on the lifts would be roughly the same speed as Paternoster speed so that would be quite a closely timed race I like the traffic light thing it tells you when to get in and out red, green, red keep clear, stand back What's in the bus stop today? A new type of bus. It's a bike. You have to cycle it yourself. Let's now go to the other university in Sheffield, the Sheffield Harlem University. This university has what I think are the best genetic lifts in the entire country. These are some nice Thames Valley destination dispatch lifts and these have full proper intelligent levelling. If you just compare that to Leicester, old Leicesters were complete rubbish for levelling. New Leicesters do know the exact position and can level intelligently, but they're very slow and overprotective. Meanwhile, Thames Valleys can do full proper intelligent levelling but they very rarely actually do. This is because generic lifts are installed by generic lift engineers who are lazy, dumb and just don't set up their lifts properly. There's only a handful of Thames Valleys that actually do proper intelligent levelling. For example, the 3.5 metre second ones at Guy's Hospital. Anyway, as for these ones over in Sheffield, the levelling is very good. The acceleration's good, they're nice and speedy, they're very well built with a big heavy duty strong chassis and they do pre-doors. And they've got Thames Valley's slightly oddball destination dispatch system. Despite these lifts being generic, there's nothing bad I can say about them, apart from the stupid fake Otis indicator I have. Doors closing. Ah, a crappy indicator. I thought destination dispatch should have that indicator. Who back, so oh dear. The ind main indicator's down there. Weird. Next stop. I find the Otis could show up. Floor 12. Shall I try keys? Yeah, it turns into a touchscreen. Doors closing. Yeah, it does, it turns into a touchscreen. Doors closing. That is so weird, it turns into a touchscreen. Floor 11. Disabled access service is now activated. Please press again and hold the button until your destination floor is announced. First floor, second floor. You have selected the second floor. To accept, please press once. Please use lift eight. Disabled access service is no longer active. <laughs> oh, disabled. Does it work any different in disabled mode? It's keeping the doors open. Like Does it not stop for anyone when it's in disabled mode? Maybe not. Ah, look, lift 6 shows 6, lift 7 shows 7, lift 9 shows 9, and, and lift 8 shows 8. <laughs> and let's now surf them. So 
then, now we go along to IKEA, which has some very nice heavy duty cone eco disc MRLs. First, we go along to a 2500 kilogram cone MX20, Plus, which goes about 1.5 meters a second. Oh, They've got a key to go down, it's so weird. Uh. Show you how quick the MX20 Plus is. 2,500 kilograms, about 1.4 meters a second, 1.5. It's quick. And now let's go to the largest capacity MRL lifts ever invented. These are the Cone MX20 Plus 5000 kilograms at 1 meters a second. I honestly don't really understand how Cone could have a lift at such a high capacity, being able to go 1 meter a second and being MRL. It's just epic. This thing's big. <laughs> Speeds up quick actually, it's about how big capacity is. That's fast, for an MRL that much capacity that is quick. For your safety, please do not touch your doors. Thank you, unless you want to surf the lift. Doors closing. Fucking big. Doors opening. Going down. Doors closing. The springs on that. Time. Doors closing. Yes, to answer the magic question, how fast does it go? No way, it goes one meter a second. How? How is that even possible? Then now we go along to the Park Hill housing estate. This is an epic old brutalist estate. And when I was here quite a few years ago, they were refurbishing this and trying to convert it into a modern housing estate. The refurbishment doesn't look that bad, it actually looks pretty good. It still has the nice brutalist look, so it's not an over the top refurbishment, which is just how I like it. But sadly though, this refurbishment seems to have gone badly wrong, as a load of the buildings are still left abandoned. For example, this building, it looks like it's partway through its refurbishment and never actually had it finished. Then, there's the fully abandoned section. What key is that? I don't know. Something key. Now, this is several years ago when I was last here. How on earth can I still not have finished the refurbishment? Something must have gone badly wrong. Oh, that's trashed. This is structurally still fine. I don't know why I haven't refurbished it. Look at completely just the structure, not like the interior refurbishment. It's perfectly fine. And let's take a look at the refurbished section. This new section has a glass generic lift. Most of the ground floor flats are abandoned. This development literally has not worked out well. It was such a big scheme with so much sort of potential, but it just didn't work out. Doors are closing. Oh, we're actually on a vertical train, we're going to Norwich. This lift is moving up. I'm very worried about this. No. Doors opening. This refurbishment is actually pretty nice. They've done it well. 
Norwich. Let's have a look over the edge. Very nice. They actually made the street and the sky design smaller because originally it would have come out all the way to here, it would have been streets. So they've expanded the flats so it's more flat space and less communal space. Norwich Street. And now let's go along to the previous refurbished section which has some nice glass Arona lifts. Let's surf them. Gilbert main lobby. There's a ladder in the lift shaft. Mm. I'm gonna climb that, imagine the pitch you're gonna get. And at this point, residents saw us on top of the lift, and we actually asked the residents to put a call in for us. Can you send it up? Whee! <laughs> Ladder, eh? I don't trust this. Yeah, I don't trust this. Oh, we've got a nice ladder so we can always get out of it. Oh, yeah. I want to trust this. Let's now climb the ladder in the lift shaft. And let's do a leg dangle. And now we go along to an epic, rare, old Etchells lift. Sadly, this lift's been horribly modernised, but it's still a very nice find to see the original Etchells door track. Please mind the door. Door closing. Going up. Shaves are heavily modded, but this is old. Classically. Doors open. And let's now go along to a new shopping centre in Sheffield. This has got a glass eco disc lift. And this shopping centre also has a very rare diagonal chassis eco disc. Oh, diagonal chassis! Going up. This is a So I was just spitting on that and see all the spit marks. Yeah, diagonal chassis. Diagonal chassis. Oh, there's too many stars here. Yeah. Take a look at the under chassis. Oh, well, look, here we go. Here's your bit. Oh, look, diagonal under chassis. A wheel. It's got a nice wheel on it. Well, that's nice. That is actually really nice. I like that. And now we go along to the Chinese students area of Sheffield. This area's got a tall tower and outside they've got this panda artwork. I'm kind of in two minds about this. Public artwork is always nice to have, but this kind of cartoony looking panda seems a bit too similar to the Chinese government's propaganda imagery. And the fact they put these in the Chinese area of Sheffield just feels a bit politically insensitive. The lifts in this tower are very cheap generics. How do you make the quality of this lift? Just on a sign, Chinese comes first. At the top of the sign, it shows it in Chinese. Then below, it shows it in English. I think we're in Chinese there as well. Talking Chinese. 
and now they are long to another lift in the university. This is a gloss generically. <laughs> and now we go to another university student tower, and this one has got a gen two. Oh, why are this? <laughs> Screen's already found as a brand new Otis. Yeah. I hope it just gets worse every really, day. Yeah? How many nice things are the lights look quite nice, but apart from that, everything else is quite bad about this. Only one of the two Gen 2 lifts were working. We had a look to see if we could find out why the second one wasn't working, but without the Otis gadget, Gen 2s are quite hard to diagnose. Let's do a leg dangle. What are Gen 2s good for? Absolutely nothing. That motor's tiny! Fuck's sake, tiny motor. Leg dangle! That's what gentles are good for. And now we go along to an NCP car park, which has some cone KCE eco disc lifts. Let's surf them. NMX 11. 11 floor. No pre-door. Doors opening. Choice of speeds. In also a choice of stops, harsh stop and gentle stop. <laughs> so slow, look how slow that goes. It's slow, so we're not gonna do that one. Let's do fast. So let go of the other one, first one, gentle stop. Do it the other way round, it's a fast stop. So now let go of one, do it the other way, harsh stop. How to open your lift door. If you're on top of a lift and you don't know how to do that, you really should not be on top of a lift. And now we go into Marks and Expensive. So what do you think of Marks and Expensive? It's a shit hole. <laughs> it's for posh people and it's crap. <laughs> We need to be on a show for the camera. <laughs> oh, we've still left it off now. We've got to the lock. <laughs> oh, let's turn the light back on. <laughs> and let's take it back out of independent service again. <laughs> so then we now leave the centre of Sheffield and we now go to Sheffield Meadow Hall Shopping Centre. This is a large out-of-town shopping centre and it's been refurbished since us last here. Let's take a look around. First into Marks and Expensive here and the two hydraulic lifts have been modernised. One by Stanner and one by Cone. First to the Stanner. What's that? Uh, inspection controls a bit weird looking. Hydraware, nice. That's a nice hydraware. Oh, it's a Stanner. Well, it's not actually a Stanner, it's a hydraware. Lots of pumpkins. Well, oh, that is nice how it levels. No pre door though. What? No, that's a cone, that one. One hydro and one cone. So we've got a very weird scenario that the standard is better than the cone. So the standard is a hydro and the cone's going to be an LCE two speed third party board. They put in a third party board instead of the F drive. That's going to be two speed. So the stanner is better than the cone. That is really odd. Let's see how it levels. Two speed levelling on your LCE third party two speed board. The stanner levelled better. Well it wasn't the stanner, it's hydroware. That's going to be your yeah, LCE in it. Mm. And along to the circle lift. Which is no longer circle shaped. I think it's gone. I think I had no one to maintain it. No one installs them nowadays, so there isn't a circle lift. I can't believe this. I had no one to install a circle lift because you don't really get them nowadays. 
So, got a nice chassis on it. If we take a look at a lift pit, how could they? How could they replace a circle lift with something that's... Oh, and it's broke as well. Oh dear. And now into the service oh, area. Service area. Must be a lift up here somewhere. Oh, we found it. Schindler, because it was originally all Schindler's here, but I changed it to cone. Keith, passenger lift, lift thingy. Down. You have a weird body Doors choice. Closing. Schindler. Hydraulic. Ground level, yellow scarf. Thank <laughs> you. 